Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays! As already mentioned in some previous games, there are still a lot of crazy replays I gonna cast. So if you enjoy them, you should look forward to the next couple of weeks because you will see a lot of them. Like, woo! Alright, today we are on Terraform Ladder Edition with a TVZ. As we have spawned in the right bottom position as the blue sir it's GSC Heiser. Or Helzer. G ah, GSC Helzer. Or G Shelzer? I don't know. It's a blue sir. And he's playing against me, the red turn is one in left top position, Alex Sasha. Okay, this game is very entertaining. Uh, I know, because I played it and should be very good. My TVC in, in, in general is really good. I mean not GM level, no way. If I'm playing against a GM Zerg who is hitting all the injects, then he just outproduces me. I cannot keep up with the production of a Zerg currently. Uh, especially not with the two factory reactor helmet uh, push because it puts me so far behind in terms of economy. If I don't deal real damage, then I'm quite out. What I figured out is that this build is, on the other hand, very strong. Uh, you can win games with it, sure, but also, as the Zerg has to prepare for it, he's not droning as hard, and if you're, depending on if he's getting mutalis or not, uh, you can throw down your third command center behind the attack quite soon. You delay your upgrades, but that's fine. Because his upgrades are most likely also late. And if he's going for mutalis, you got two factories with reactors, so he can crank out four Vidomites in total. You got also the barracks with the reactor, so he can have two marines in total each cycle, so that's really enough to deal with two base mutalis. So against roaches, Vidomites are also decent in high numbers. So the 1-1 one, one Roach push is also quite holdable. And it puts the opponent back a little bit as well. So yeah, it's it's a good build, it can work. And against Ling Bane all in it's super fantastic because you get like four Hellions each time. So here we are, and we have a pool ready. As well as the hatchery. And for me currently. Ah yeah, there we go. You see one Reaper, then Reactor. And okay, so Reaper makes its way into the natural seas. The hatchery is finished, which means it was not pool first. With that timing, the circlings are finishing as well. Ooh, but I see the gas. I see there's just one drone mining. I see the pool is active, researching uh, speed. So I know it's not roaches for now. What I really need to do is later on jump in again and. So like at the 5 minute mark, jump in again and see if it's still researching or not. Because if not, then it can't be finished with uh, hatch first. No way, no way. And oh, oh, thank you, thank you very much for opening that pathway. And then I know if it's not researching anymore, he was faking it and most likely there would be a road roll right, like, right there. For me, we have one factory finished and the second one on the way. It's a bit late, so, but it's, it's okay. I got four marines, so I can deny any overlord scouting. Mm, the reaper... Still active. Where is it? Coming back because of speed. That's fine. And there we see the roach warren. It's a bit early, I have to say. That's not a safety roach warren. Not really. A safety roach warren would go down at 620. Or 640 at least, at, at latest. So that's that's the latest safety roach warren. But uh, 5 minute 40s Roach Warren is more likely aggressive. I also don't know what he's doing with Double Spine Crawler. I mean, uh, he hasn't scouted anything so far. Mm. Ah, there we go. Okay, Lair. And a second gas. Very interesting. But with two gas, you normally are not very aggressive. Uh, those circlings committing completely. One survives. That's a bit unfortunate for him. But, oh, he cancels a spine. Ah, it's very interesting. So, I don't know if you can be aggressive with just two gases. Mm, he's now taking another base, but 
No, with two gases you can't be aggressive. So he's playing a very defensive style, I would say. The roaches not ready yet. Uh, I should go for the creep tumors. Yeah, nice cancel out of this zerg. Ah, uh, he needs to be careful there because guess what? Oh yeah, back to the spine. The queen took already a lot of damage. Uh, wall will complete soon, and I guess I will attack soon. The armory finishes. I'm attacking this hatchery, baiting out some roaches. Okay, not that kind of stuff I wanna bait out. But it's okay, this hatchery is quite low. Oh, the queens! He will lose one queen for sure there. Maybe a second one. Back to creep. Yeah, it, it got speed. The uh, roaches are coming. So, ooh, with the roaches now out of the field. Yeah, this hatchery took some damage. Oh, bye bye, Harrion. But I'm not committing to it. Look at that. I'm not committing to it. So, what will I do instead? I got a lot of Hellions. I'm producing a tech lift for tanks, most likely. And throw down a third command center, which is okay for now. Worker wise, we are equal. Uh, he will soon. Oh, super early Spire. Look at that. 840 Spire. He got four, four extractors. So, I'm not sure if he was un playing mm, unranked or something like that or, or off race, but. Look at that, so, ooh, the Hellions are committing right here, because against Roaches I don't need those Hellions. So, I know now Roaches are here, which opens the path for those Hellions to sneak in, as there's nothing to defend, and there we go, it's barbecue time! Oh wow, so far, not too many, oh, good shot! Uh, four, five drone kills only? I could have killed more, but now I'm in the main base. Uh, seven kills. Oh, those Hellions derping around! Eleven kills. Mm, Eleven drone kills for eight Hellions and two Marines. No, that wasn't really worth it. Uh, okay, there are four more Hellions, but there are no drones whatsoever here. So, hmm. Not the best damage. I could have done way more damage. Those Hellions derping around here with the whole position that they take. That was the problem. I attacked a drone back there, which was mining. And there were the drones blocking with the attack, so the Hellions didn't move uh, around, they just dropped, so hmm, good defense, not the best damage, but that's how basically what you do against uh, such a defensive road opener. We try to lure the roaches up here and move in into the main base and the natural, natural main base and kill everything. Mutilists are on the way, uh, two out so far, which is not all lot. You shouldn't show them yet. His creep spread, not the best one. His upgrades, also not the best one. There are almost no upgrades. So far, he's getting the evil chamber now. Mm, there's no turret in the natural. Oh no. Hello, Mutalist. But I got eight. Yeah, I got enough marines and widow mines to defend that. So I should be fine. Sure, he is annoying, but the wall is completed. Force the cancel. Uh, might get an add-on or two, maybe a bit of mine. So now, now that's the really annoying part, where he's really active with the mutalist. I don't know why he's going back, he could attack this depot, then that depot, then this depot, then go for the reactor, all over again. My star pod is very late, so I won't be able to drop for a long time. But I am ahead in worker, just for now, I was. Uh, plus one attack. Melee attack is coming out, we should grab the gases and as well the next upgrade. So there's a changeling, oh god. This changeling man, I don't realize it, I just don't. Very annoying, this mutal is where Ah, back there at home, okay. So, oh I still need the reactor there. Uh, the changeling, not blocking too much. 10 seconds? Not even. Okay. That was, that was okay. Uh, I still got 4 Hellions. I will see the 4th base and I might go in here and attack some drones. I could morph them into Hellbats as soon as I get the armory, which I already got. Oh, we see a Thor being produced. That's good. That, that Thor is very soon early. Uh oh. There are turrets. You don't want to attack there. No, you don't want to attack there. He could have gone for it, but why would you do that? Mm, those four Hellions. Uh, he saw them. Somewhere he saw them. Yeah, he finds it. 
kills all of them. That's good. I still need combat shields. Oh. Oh, I forgot combat shields. That, uh, that's a bit, big, 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 big mistake. I mean, 2-2 two -two is on the way for me now. That's good. So there will be a winner where I'm on 2-2. Two -two and my opponent on 1-1, one -one, which is really huge in TVZ. Because we both get so many units. And they all benefit from the upgrades. Mm, yeah, I might be able to cancel that base. Where's the sec Okay, so no drop. Wait, I have medivacs. Oh, Nutalis. He got a lot of them, but... Oh no, just those medivacs here. A ton of marines without combat shields. They are the banelings. The spread is not the best. All those marines will go down. Oh my god. So I kill the base, but at what cost? I lose everything there. I traded four banes and a base for almost 40 marines. That was not good. I got a Thor and the marines rescued for now. Uh, that's looking good. Oh, the Thor might go down. Uh, hot pick up there. Uh, boost, 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 boost. Whoa, 2 HP. <laughs> Wow! That was so close, man! <laughs> I need to repair those units immediately. Uh, the problem is... Uh-oh. Uh, the Thor will go down now. Ah, oh, that's bad. Uh, yeah, I can't... Oh, 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 oh. There's so much. Yes, I got Widow Mines. He got no Banes, so he can't defend that. Uh, no Banes. The SCVs are blocking. Look at that. Oh, good Widow Mine shot there. No, and there are the reinforcements. The Mutalists are coming in to fight that and they will be able with the help of the roaches and the circling to push that one back and there's a turret oh clutch defense behind that he's not taking another base he's just making a hive and a ton of banelings and 2-2 is on the way so for me it's ready in 10 seconds all those banes might be able to crush this widow mines out of position there's a drop on the way I don't know about this timing of the drop still no combat shields oh man I'm so bad. Oh, the banelings! The banelings! The banelings! No reaction! Oh! So he kills that with ease! Uh, yeah, killed a lot of stuff there. The Mutalist will uh, clear all the Widow Mines and... Oh, I lost a lot there. Yeah. I might be able to get the space. But, oh, will I be... Oh, nice Contaminate. I like that. So, <laughs> worker-wise, I'm quite far behind. But the upgrades are good for me. Uh, I saw that base. I doesn't know about that one. Mm, no overload speed. That's a mistake. He needs overload speed. But the hive is ready, so we could see brute lords or uh, uh, ultralist soon. The circlings m moving in. Mutalist late to the party, but uh, that's a okay position. But I'm not dealing too much damage. He pulled the drones in time, so he's fine. Uh, I think he took this base, which is a mistake because it's simply wrong. New hammer got thrown down. Just plus three attack. I don't have enough minerals. Uh, drilling claws. Still no combat shields. I am really playing without combat shields. I don't. Oh, uh, Widow Mind. Getting some kills here. Mm, I will take out that base for sure. That's good. He got such a huge bang. So Ultralists are on the way. And my economy is crippled like crazy. He is supply blocked. Oh, he needs to produce a lot of overlords first. Uh, he has 7 lava, so that's fine. Still no combat shields. <laughs> oh god. But he can't fight that. 2-2 two, two, uh, against 2-1 two, is difficult. And he doesn't have enough units. Look at that. He's so heavily supply capped. Oh, there's a drop. That's so insane. He got the money but can't spend it. 3 ultralists on the way. Club 3 attack. No. Yeah, okay. Ooh, double drop. Going forward, killing some stuff. The Mutalists sneak, sneaking in. Oh, all those Banes, very good connections, no splits whatsoever. The Marauder will go down, he loses a Queen. Oh, you can't fight that. Two Two Marines are really good against Mutalists. Uh, the Ultralists might pop soon. Oh, there are the Widow Mines. Ooh, what? The other one didn't go off? Oh, that's really helpful for him. There are the Ultralists and the Spore Crawler killing all the Medivacs. Close, but good defense. Some reinforcements. <laughs> now I'm getting combat shields. That's, that's something. I might get the hatchery. Uh, 
No, okay. The hatchery survives. He still supply capped. GSC Helzer. Uh, but he's pushing myself back. Ultralisks on the way. I'm trying to take a fourth base. I need more barracks. Uh, I'm so marine heavy. You can see it. Just three marauder against seven ultralisks. How in the world am I supposed to hold this against ultralisks? There are some Vitamines here. No clue how they went in. They just moved? Are you serious? Wow. So with the Vitamine move, I I am able to hold him back just enough. Oh god, all those kills. Uh, drilling claws are ready. So yeah, plus three armor on the way. So I keep him busy, which gives me enough time for the tech labs to finish. Now uh, there's another drop. And a double medivac drop here as well. He's still on three base. That's the only good thing for me. He is still on three base. The main base is empty. The natural almost not mining. He's just on 62 drones. And the problem is Altruists are weak against medivacs. So you can't chase medivacs with them. It's very difficult. There we go. He might... Oh, all those, all those moves. He might lose the space. 3-3 three, three marines soon. Uh, yeah. Lifting up. Oh, all those marines! Uh, CVs die. But he lost all the drones in the fourth base. Uh, he will lose the fourth base. Ah, that's the problem. He should have attacked. There was a timing where he could have attacked, but now he's. Uh, his income is not looking too good. And the banes on the marines are good. But unnecessary. There's a drop. Uh, I killed a building. I might get the spire. Oh, and then it's no mutilus anymore. Yeah, I will get the spire. This one marine is just watching the show, as you guys currently. And yeah, there we go. Spire goes down. He needs to plant down another one, but he can't afford it. He can't afford it. That's the problem. So, those guys should mine. Oh, look at that. So, so what do we have here? Oh, that's a good position for the marines. Look at that. So the mules, uh, the marines focus fire the mutalisks. Oh, good rain connections. But 12 ultralisks, 3 Thor, 40 marauder, 12 vitamins. I would say, army wise, it's looking equal, but I am ahead. The, the upgrades, mm, yeah, okay, the ultralisks have a lot of armor. Uh, vitamins! Ooh. But he's moving down to the fourth base. And yeah, he will clear that one, most likely. Again. Swipe it out. There we go. Force the lift off. All those marines die. Oh god. Uh, but now he's caught. He is caught. He needs to fight somehow, some way. But that's not a good position. Uh, oh god. He goes in. He's off creep. That's the problem. Widow mines dealing huge splash damage to this army. Marauder is so strong. And the Thor. With the kiting back of the Marauder. It should be enough. The Thor from the flank. Uh, the Mutalist will kill this one. But the Marauder should be enough to clear the remaining Ultralisks. And the, he can't replenish them. He got the gas, but not the larva and not the income anymore. He's quite mineral starved. Yeah, he's, har he's hardly mining anymore. And I got one more base, two more bases mining. So uh, I am okay currently. I am okay. It's still not one, but it's looking good for me. He's producing two more ultralists. I really... Yeah, he, he needs to do something. Those circlings are wrecking those marines. Look at that. Uh, that's good. Keeping me busy, but I'm not turning back. I'm attacking, as it looks like. Uh, yeah. So... Oh, all those little mines. No, I'm... Oh, little mines burrowing. Uh, so low. The medivacs going somewhere. There's one little ultralisk. Uh, the Vitamines could deal a lot of splash damage to my army there. That's exactly what happened. Ah, uh, he got no detection. Uh-oh. Uh, all those queens going down. Uh, he would have needed those queens for transfuse the ultralisk. But the problem is his creep threat is not good enough as well, so those queens will never catch up with the ultralisk. Never. And this base will get denied again.
lucky timing here. He strikes again at my fourth base, down to the left bottom side. Yeah, cancelled, and those widow mines. Oh no. Oh no, the widow mine field! It's real! Okay. So I'm pulling back. Uh, the mutalist might get this orbital command. Oh, the widow mine! So now I'm off creep, now I can kite. And try to focus fire. And it's enough, the ultralists are down. There's one more, but that's not enough. Widow mines. Marching forward, uh, the orbital command gets repaired, and oh my god, oh all the larva, all the eggs died, wow, that ultralist took a huge blow, and there's another middle mine, no, he's pulling the probes, the last ditch effort, it was quite close for some time, he had a timing, he missed the window of opportunity, and now that's it, I would say we will see the GG, Wow, close one. I can't, I can't believe I had combat shields not being researched for so long, but that's how it goes. Wow. All right, guys, I will jump right into the next one. Ooh, it's really exhausting. I don't know how professional caster uh, get this, but I feel exhausted after now six, eight games of casting. It's really pff, exhausting. Yeah. But fun. So thank you for watching as always. I wish you a very nice day and 